New information tonight on how COVID-19 is spreading in Rhode Island. As Target 12 first reported on Eyewitness News at 6, the number of elderly Rhode Islanders contracting the virus is going down, but it's rising quickly among children. Tonight, we're breaking down which age groups are seeing the largest increases. Eyewitness News reporter Rob Nesbitt joins us from the control room with more on what we've uncovered. A Target 12 analysis over the last two weeks shows an increase of new COVID-19 cases among young adults and children. Nursing homes are doing much better in preventing positive cases with residents. The numbers are out and looking good for nursing homes. Rhode Island Department of Health reports 32 new COVID-19 cases across five facilities. Much better compared to the 667 new cases they reported in May across 42 nursing homes. CEO of the Rhode Island Healthcare Association, Scott Frazier, says that surveillance testing is a big reason for the improvement. We ask for weekly testing of our residents and our staff so we could know first and foremost right away who was being affected by the virus. There are still clusters of cases at some nursing homes. Pawtucket Skilled Nursing and Rehab reported Thursday that 16 of their residents and five staff members have tested positive for COVID-19. Uh, one home that's seeing over a dozen um, positive cases and I think there's a fear of all of our members that that could be happening. Concerning new data shows an increase of cases among young people. Target 12 found that over the last two weeks, there's been a 10% increase in cases among Rhode Islanders between 20 and 30 years old, a 13% increase for those between the ages of 10 and 20, and a 16% increase among children younger than 10. According to Frazier, the data that's out for nursing homes shows that COVID isn't an automatic death sentence for everyone. Approximately two thirds of all nursing home residents never got sick. And of those that became ill, 72% recovered. Frazier says that resident population at nursing homes has decreased since COVID, down 30 to 40% at some facilities. Reporting from the control room, I'm Rob Nesbitt, Eyewitness News.